Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, this is gonna be a Taurus reading. This is a general timeless reading, so whenever you find this is meant for you. Also, this is for any Taurus placement, so sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Lilith, you name it, okay? Or you could just be curious, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, this is gonna kind of be like a bonus reading for Taurus. Um, I really appreciate all the love and support I got on the previous video, so this is like a little gift to you guys for this Week, okay I feel like by now I should have posted um, I always have so many interruptions I turn the alerts off and they still come in towards but anyways but um, I feel like I should have had all of my uh, other signs posted already so if you have some other placements or you're just curious about other signs right now you can definitely go check those out on my um, channel okay also I'm a little up and close and personal today <laughs> if I said that right Taurus um, the lighting if I pull the camera back too far it's like a huge glare from my window the ring light this is the little bit of light that I can actually get in my apartment <laughs> I don't know why but just the lighting is just not good or it's very yellow okay so bear with me i am going to be working to kind of change my setup and the lighting and stuff okay so just be patient okay and i appreciate you guys for being patient with me so um i was going to skip meditation okay um let's meditate to release any negative energy um and allow us to be very um not be very to be open <laughs> to receive the messages in this reading uh taurus okay if you're comfortable feel free to meditate with me Okay, um, I feel very giddy and very excited today. I don't know why, because I didn't feel that way um, at the beginning of the morning. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest with you. <laughs> I work another, uh, like I have a, a full-time job besides this, so I had to do stuff for that tour. So I didn't feel that way, but I feel very giddy and excited. I wonder why, what's going on? Okay, is this about the love that we talked about in the last reading? Let's see. So I'm going to be shuffling, um, pulling the cards while on camera. Um, I wanted to be able to show the cards. Like I said, just the, the angle in the sun isn't going to let me do that today. Um, so we're going to do that. Let's see what you have coming in for general. Why is that card came out again? I just did Aquarius and they had Empress. Uh, yeah, the Empress, excuse me. I thought I said Emperor. They had the Empress come out, Libra energy. I feel like that came out in your love reading. That's crazy. Hmm. Okay. Um, so for general, King of Cups came out. Okay. Let's see if we can get maybe two or three more cards before we go more into Deb Tours. Okay. We'll take that one. Four of Swords, Air Energy. Six of Wands. Okay. I feel like these cards are so similar to um, the past reading. I have to go back and look at it, but I've done so many readings in between tours. <laughs> like this is like crazy if this is similar energy. The chariot, number seven, you're moving towards somebody or somebody's moving towards you. Or you could be very steadfast right now, very focused, okay? Let's see what an outcome is for Taurus right now for general reading. One outcome, one outcome okay that's the outcome okay that's a very clear message um eight of wands in reverse communication fast moving communication Taurus. you want to talk to somebody or somebody wants to talk to you maybe that's why you're feeling very giddy and very excited maybe you've gotten some type of phone call or text message from somebody that you were hoping to get it from Empress, Libra energy. Um, it could be family. I'm feeling a strong sense of family from that card. And that's not usually what that card picks up. Like in the actual meanings of it, it means like divine feminine, um, balancing energies, birthing something new uh, to become connected with the world or the universe, you know, to be aligned with it, if that makes sense, Taurus um family 
for me. Venus energy as well, too, because I know that that's something we talked about in the last reading, that Libra and Taurus are ruled by Venus, if you guys don't know. And Venus is usually represented, or we see it as love, okay? So if you have, or somebody watch this could be a Taurus, and you could have a Venus in Libra. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, but you guys are heavily focused on love. But, but the thing is, you guys being ruled by Venus, I feel like that you guys do focus a lot on love. Now, whether you share that with people, that's a different thing. But definitely a strong focus on love. And this is the general reading. We haven't got to, we haven't got to the love reading, okay? But there's a strong sense for love. And it could be love for self, okay? Usually when we love ourselves unconditionally, we're able to love other people unconditionally. And to be more comfortable to express ourselves towards. King of Cups, you're being very wise about something. Or you've gained a lot of wisdom. You could be meditating a lot too, Taurus. If you're not, there's a strong need for it. I feel like that you need some clarity on something. It could have been the same energy from the last reading. I'm not really picking up on that. It seemed more of like a triangle <laughs> secretly involved in that reading, okay? But with this one, I'm not. I feel like that you're going within to find the answers you need. And I say that because of the Four of Swords. This does mean heartbreak. But also this means self-care, Taurus, okay? So you guys are loving yourself more. Taking time out to taking time out for yourself, excuse me. Practicing self-care, self-love. Beautiful energy. You guys are resting a lot. Let's see. Her eyes is well, I say her, but don't just focus on the energy. The Empress eyes is closed. The King of Cups eyes are closed. Um, the Four of Swords, her eyes are closed. We have the six of the wands on the table. Her back is turned. But then we finally shift to the chariot and he's facing us in the picture. The bottom of the deck, we have the seven of swords. Two of cups in reverse. Interesting energy. There's something hidden from you. With the seven of swords coming out and with your eyes, with the the cards on the table, all of the images, eyes are either closed or turned away from us. Um, there's something hidden from you, okay? I don't know if someone's hiding something from you or it could just be you hiding something from yourself. Sometimes that can happen. Usually the, the, the person that we keep stuff the most from is from ourselves, meaning that in our waking life, it's not an issue for us. In our subconscious, it's deeply bothered, okay? So there's something that's hiding from you or something that you're keeping a secret from yourself or someone's keeping a secret from you or you're keeping a secret something like that take it how it resonates Taurus. okay two of cups in reverse interesting okay because i felt that this was about romance but this is in reverse so possibly the union isn't coming together or maybe that's where that if i'm home hopefully i'm not too high up in the air you guys i'm sorry um, but maybe that's where the seven is coming, the cherry cancer energy as well, too. So maybe you guys have some cancer in your chart as well or be dealing with the cancer or have one in your environment somehow. But maybe that's where that fast moving communication is coming in. OK, it's very fiery. It's coming in strong, too. And maybe that's why the connection hasn't come together, because there's a need for you guys to talk to each other somehow. Maybe heal things. It could be new or past. Take it how it resonates. But the chariot, when I see the horse, the horses, um, there's a black and a white one. Duality, I always think of for some reason. And I don't think that that's what the chariot means. That's just kind of what I pick up on my intuition, I guess we could say. I worded that weird towards. But um, you, that's another thing that comes to me. Um, you could maybe be wanting to contact someone or reach out or they could be feeling that way. And they're worried about their wording, how to approach you. They could maybe feel like that they're going to say things the wrong way. Or maybe they've come in and you didn't like their approach or their wording to the situation. And then that kind of ended with the two of cups in, in um, reverse. Okay. Definitely some communication will be had. It might be in February. I mean, that is during that is Valentine's Day and a lot of people focus a lot 
on that. I don't know if so many people will this year just due to the circumstances towards. Um, but they could be wanting to reach out to you or during cancer season. Okay. There could be a need of balance. That's probably why I pointed out the the horse, the black and white and the empress to maybe find balance to see it from the other person's perspective or maybe they need to see it from your perspective, okay? Interesting energy. Um, let's go ahead and pull. Um, oh, I keep on doing that. That's the second time. <laughs> I did the same thing in Aquarius reading. Okay, let me pick these up one second. Okay, we had three that popped out for you, Taurus. So I'm going to pick those up and we're going to use those for the love reading. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Why does that keep that? It must have a meaning. I don't know what the meaning is, but something's going to happen that you don't expect, Taurus. I don't know what, what what it is, though, but the same thing happened in Aquarius reading and that's interesting, like the exact same thing. Okay, so something's going to happen that you don't expect. Maybe that is that chariot rushing towards you, okay? So weird. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so the magician came out in the Aquarius one. Okay, we'll pull one more card for the love reading. Okay, that fell on the floor. Okay, um... Two of Cups came back out again, okay? Because they were at the bottom of the deck, and I put them back in the deck and started shuffling. But this time, it came out in the upright, and this is the person's perception or their current emotion. So things have flipped. Hmm. So you may be seeing things differently than what they really are. You could be fearful about the connection, but it seems like the other person feels differently. They feel that they feel that this is a perfect connection. I don't want to say perfect because what's really perfect, but they feel like that you guys are soulmates. Okay, you guys are destined to be together, equal um, harmony. Okay, uh, balanced, and that could be why we have the Libra energy keep coming out for you. Okay, very intuitive energy. So they could be a Cancer possibly. But I feel like you might be dealing with the Libra or you have that heavy in your chart because the Libra cards keep on coming out in your reading. OK. Um, what are you manifesting uh, or what are you calling in the magician? OK. Gemini energy. OK. So you could have that in your chart, in your environment. OK. We also have the not, the number nine, the hermit Virgo energy. Justice number 11 in your blockage. Major major arcana um in the love reading okay so tr very transforming love it's a very beautiful love that you have with this person or or just the love that you want to call in um it's beautiful it seems very genuine okay great energy to be in um so you're calling in or, or you're manifesting new love okay or you could have manifested someone or, or you could be trying to manifest someone to return to you okay take it how it resonates for you towards um how do you perceive things the hermit virgo energy um i feel like you're going within and i feel like that i mentioned that in the general reading i can't remember um, but you can always rewind back towards, okay? But I feel like when I always see that light on the, um, just around her in the car, that means that you, you are going within to find the answers you need because you have all the answers. You know exactly what to do. This reading is just like confirmation, but we always know what to do in situations. Whether we choose to follow our intuition is a different story towards. I'm not sure why you feel that there is a need to go with me. I think it's your perception, though, because how the cars were just coming out for you in the general. Um, you feel like you need to go about things a different way. I'm not sure why you feel that way, though. It could be that seven of swords, something's hidden. OK, but but you going into Herman mode is definitely going to bring out 
whatever is underneath the surface for you Taurus okay whatever answers you're looking for in your blockage justice number 11 okay every time I see ones and twos I always think of soulmates twin flames okay life partners however you see it okay so we have the two of cups number one as the magician and then uh number 11 but if you look at it it looks like two ones hopefully you guys can see that also that if you look at the card that's a darkness and light balancing this is the libra energy i was talking about which we talked about this in a general reading okay so crazy how this is coming out um so there definitely could be a need for balance um seeing things from both sides okay or both uh just seeing size seeing size or seeing things from both angles that's the phrase i was trying to get out but this is in your blockage so that could be something that you're struggling with there's a difference in the perception of how you feel the, how you think the person feels or how they think you feel or, or mutual it's probably mutual energy um also balancing you could need a, a urge to balance yourself but i don't feel like you being imbalanced I feel like with the hermit card being in your perception and in your emotions right now that you are going within or it's a strong need for you to go within. OK. Um, a end of a karmic cycle. So a karmic cycle could be in your blockage. OK. We know where that's going towards though, Taurus. Um, there's a cycle that you could possibly needing to end in your life that could be with someone else or, or it could just be a new chapter that you need to start. OK, which we talked about a lot that a lot. We talked about that a lot. Excuse me, Taurus, in the past um, reading that we just did. So if you haven't seen that, I would say go back and look at it just for reference. OK, beautiful connection. There definitely needs to be a conversation had. OK, and the cycle has to come to an end. OK, but that has that has that that has its timing i don't know why i couldn't get that out and that's that wording because i feel like i've been like stumbling over my words so you could be afraid to reach out to the person or they could be afraid to reach out to you because they just don't think that their approach or how they word the word the text messages is going to be appealing to you or be open to you okay this could be a new bond okay you could be wanting to call someone in but it's interesting that justice is in your blockage. So there's a need for you to end a cycle within your own life or the other person needs to end something before they come towards you. I'm going to take out one um, advice or lesson card. It depends on how it resonates for you, Taurus. And then we'll go ahead and end the reading. I feel like my phone is about to die and I really don't want this to cut off on us. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know you like this girl is a hot mess today one card this one is sticking out so i'm gonna take this let's see what it is discipline i can accomplish what i set my mind to that's that hermit mode energy i don't what are you trying to be disciplined about though courage i find the inner strength to face fear with conf, with confidence can you guys see that courage beautiful card i love the love the colors on it it's a lot of purple so there's a need to um with the discipline and courage card, there's a need to go with me and balance your crown chakra. Because everything you need is up here, Taurus, okay? Or in here, it depends. Hopefully, I didn't cover my mic. I'm sorry. Um, but courage, one more time. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence, okay? So you could be wanting to reach out to this person, Taurus. Or the other person will. I'm going to leave it there. If this resonated with you, please let me know in the comment section below. If you're comfortable, I would love to hear. Um, what you have to add or if this actually relates to you um also i would truly appreciate if you guys like and share and subscribe to my channel okay there's so many things to always say <laughs> but i would truly appreciate it if you have not heard this today taurus you are loved and you are cherished okay until next time my loves bye bye